joining me today. I hope you guys have had the best Sunday and the best weekend ever. So today I am doing a Primark haul. I'm just so excited to go through it all with you. I did my last Primark haul about six weeks ago and I thought that was quite a spring Primark haul. I will pop it below if you're interested in watching that. But I have upped the levels of summer now. We are getting there. The sun is shining. So I have got two bags of stuff. other bag that has come off oh my god okay fail off to an awful start i have two bags here i always find that when you're buying summery spring clothes the amount of stuff that you buy looks smaller so therefore you buy more normally when i do a primark haul i fill out one of those like shopping bag things in the store and i kept going around being like it's not full it's not full but that's because i'm buying little dresses so it got to the till and i was like and this and this yep yeah these are oh, two of these but it's fine i still to this day can't get over how affordable it is to shop in primark it's just heavenly i spent 134 pounds and i've bought so much beautiful stuff if i went to Topshop, i'd spend 134 pounds on four items it's just crazy how affordable it is it means you can keep up with all the trends you can have all the latest styles they've got some great dupes in there at the moment it's just fast fashion and it's cheap fast fashion and it's good fast fashion and i'm just such a, i'm such a fan of primark before we start off with what's in here this is from primark it was in one of my what's new on the high street videos and it says la i absolutely love the pink and red i wonder how many items we've got. got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twenty one twenty two twenty three so there is twenty three things let's get started It is a very summery haul. As with all my other hauls, you guys were so amazing at letting me know which pieces to keep and which pieces to send back. I really, really value your feedback and I absolutely love when you guys are like, that's amazing, keep that, and like, no, honey, no. Let me know in the comments today as well which are your favorite pieces and also which pieces that you personally would take back. I would really appreciate that because I'm not keeping everything. So up first is this little top, which when I was in Primark I thought was a leotard, <laughs> but it's not. It's just a little top with a little cute tie at the bottom. Can you see how I thought that was a leotard or am I just really stupid? This is a very summery print, perfect for holidays but also very cute for London if you just want to wear it with like plain black jeans. So yeah, I'm going to try this on and see what it looks like. I really like this. This is very tropical but I'm not sure if this is the most flattering knot. Let me see if I can change it or if it's all sewn in. Okay, so the knot is sewn in. You can't alter it yourself. Now I just think I've ruined it. Hold on. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> I've ruined it already. I don't know how to get it back into a knot. Ah, this is going terribly. I've ruined the top. It's like all sewn up and I don't know how to get it back into a knot. Let me just twist. Okay, hopefully that will do something. But basically what I was saying before, you know, I ruined everything was that I think this knot needs to be a little bit tighter. There's too much excess here. So I don't think it's the most flattering. I really like the print actually, and I think it would look really cute with different color skirts or jeans or little shorts. But yeah, I'm not crazy about this. I feel like it, it, if it's gonna be a tie, it needs to be tight, because that's what the whole point of a tie is. Take this one off. Up next, we have this gorgeous little mint green bardo off the shoulder, little top. I think this is so cute. I love this color, this gorgeous, gorgeous mint green. It's super comfortable. It is one of those tops though, if that you shrug your shoulders, it will ping up. It's all right, you can wiggle. I do feel like I'd be pulling it down the whole time. But saying that, I really like it. It is cropped here with a pair of mum jeans. It finishes perfectly. Same with a denim skirt. It will finish just above where you want it to finish, basically. If I come a bit closer, you can see that it's a green and white stripe. It's got the gorgeous little elastic around here. I really like this and I would wear this as an outfit now. But yeah, let me know what you think. Is this flattering or does it just make me look a bit like a green marshmallow? You know, I think I'd get a lot of use out of this and it's really comfortable. I really like it. Yeah. Okay, up next. Oh, we have this skirt. So it's this embroidered skirt. I bought this in a size 10 and it just looked so cute and so pretty. The skirt is on. It's really, really pretty. But the first thing I noticed about it is that it's only got embroidery on the front 
and not the back. I think that cheapens down an item. I think that if it's an embroidered skirt, it should not just stop halfway. But then saying that, it is very cute and maybe if it's all over, it would look a bit too much. But do you know what I mean? If it just had like a little bit of patterning on the side or on the back, I think that would look really nice. I do really, really like the colours on this skirt and I do like the actual embroidery. And it does fit really, really well. But I'm not sure if it's my most favourite thing that I've ever seen. It's just that line really bothers me. This one was £15. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Okay, up next, I'm very excited about this one. This is a red floral summer dress. This is in a size 10 and it's got little gorgeous buttons down the front. I've got high hopes for this. Let's see what it looks like on. So yes, it's a size 10 and it's actually a little... Oh, no, I speak too soon. It's got a tie. Oh, wait, this could be a game changer. But I'm tied in the wrong way. Don't want to break another piece. Okay. Oh, does that make it cuter? What do you think? Got a button down detail on the front and I don't know if you can see when you turn to the side. You can just kind of see straight through the buttons, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, apart from the little holes here, I think this is really, really cute. I actually think I put a little safety pin here just to kind of hold it together a bit around the boob area. But I do like the tie detail. I love the print and I love the colour. And I actually really like the material. Even though the buttons are a little bit like, ta-da! I actually really, really like that detail. It's the kind of detail of buttons that you get on the back of wedding dresses. I know that sounds really weird. Down the back of Pippa Middleton's bridesmaids dress, she had those little buttons and I'm obsessed with them. And I just think this would look really cute with a denim jacket and some sandals. And it's really nice material. So... I'm torn, what do you think? Too risky with the button opening, or is it cute? Right, up next we have this, ooh, ooh, there are so many fails today. Up next we have this very, very cute little yellow t-shirt, and if you can see here, it says ciao. It's got another little tie, which I will try not to undo. So I have an addiction to stripes. Anything striped, I love. And anything that's got a little slogan on it, or anything that's got any writing on it, I love. So this is a big win for me. Um, it's a little tight around here. I might actually get a size up, but, I don't know, maybe it's okay. And then you can see the little detail here, which is a tie. I am going to attempt to untie this one. No, I can't. It's tied up together. If I kept this, I would unsever this bit so that I had freedom to knot it tightly. I think that if it's a tie detail, you don't want this massive loop. The whole point is that you can tie it up. Maybe I can shuffle this up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. So look, I would tie it there rather than having all this excess space here in this weird gap. I would have a little DIY job on this. And I think that the yellow is gorgeous. Yellow is so in right now. I love anything Italian, so I am sold with that. I just need to take a pair of scissors to it, cut these two bits apart, which is literally just one stitch, so I could tie it up nicely in a knot and style it how I would feel comfortable styling it. This was five pounds, so I think, give me five seconds to alter it, and it would be one of my favorite t-shirts for summer. This would look so cute with a little pair of denim shorts and a little blue bag sorted okay up next we have a cropped white sweatshirt now if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that i'm such a hardcore fangirl of anything that says la anything that says new york anything that says anything american and this says the hamptons i've never been to the hamptons i've always wanted to go so i saw this and i was like yes i need it i normally wouldn't buy a sweatshirt in white just because i'm so messy and i'd get it dirty so quickly with foundation with food whatever lipstick anything but actually for summer i think it's a really really nice color if you wanted to cover up in the evening if you were like out having a drink with your friends or something and you wanted an extra layer having a white jumper is just really really nice I think and I just think this is really cute like the writing and everything so I'm really pleased with this and it looks really cute with mom jeans at the moment as well and I'm addicted to sweatshirts I'm addicted addicted to sweatshirts and these are so affordable so it's fine right okay so up next is this t-shirt and it says sorry I'm late I didn't want to come <laughs> I should just wear this to all like big family occasions so I bought this in a size, I think this is even a size 14 because I like my t-shirts to be baggy, but this shouldn't be a 14. Like, it is not that big on me. This was so affordable. This was £2.50, which is crazy. I would just wear this with a pair of jeans and a jacket. The thing I like about black t-shirts, I don't have that many black t-shirts. If you wanted to wear an all-black outfit, this was really nice and you can accessorise with like a pop of colour on a bag or some shoes or something. I just thought this was really funny and I'm just going to wear it every time I see people I don't like. <laughs> So next up, I am trying on this pink dungaree dress, which I'm really excited about. I really like this color pink, and I've actually got a denim jacket in the same color, which I wouldn't wear together unless I was having a double denim matchy-matchy day. So this is cute. It's got some distressed denim down the side. Let's try on and see what it looks like. I really like them, actually. I really like the color of them. They do have a distressed effect all over them, which I really like, but because they're not lined at all, 
if you look at this one here, you can still see the t-shirt underneath, which means that you'll be able to see your underwear as well. So bear that in mind, if you buy these, don't wear bright red underwear because you'll be able to see it through the rip. It's got a really nice distressed hem. I like the pocket, I like the fit. It's like a loose fit. I don't know whether I look like I'm gonna go and redecorate a house. Anything that's baby pink or millennial pink, I'm just so in love with anyway. So I really, really like this. I think this would also look really cute as just like a cover up on the beach if you've got a bikini underneath. I know that we're thinking quite far in advance. I have no holidays booked, but I think that this would look really cute it's just really comfortable I'm really liking it let me know what you think in the comments about this one do I look too much like I'm going to nursery do I look too much like I'm a four-year-old let me know what you think <laughs> So up next, I just bought these because I used to have so many pairs of these when I was growing up and these are so comfortable. I thought I'd get a lot of use out of these during like the spring and summer months, just chilling at home or I'm running out to do some shopping or something. These are £2.50 and they're just cute little cotton shorts. They're very casual, but I think they'll look really cute. Let's try them on. Hopefully they don't look like a giant nappy. Oh my God, these are so comfortable apart from the label which is digging in but yeah these are so comfortable just to like wear around the house or just to wear on holiday when you don't want to dress up they had these in so many different colors and they were two pounds fifty so i'm tempted to go back in and buy loads even this with like a denim jacket and a nice jumper would look really cute with a big pair of clunky trainers just a pair of adidas classics i'm really pleased with these i wasn't expecting to like these but i really do i really do i'm gonna whack this jacket over the top so we've got this pink denim jacket let me just undo these. I hate when denim jackets are done up there. It's so annoying. It's like, no, let me breathe. Let my wrists breathe. I really like this. This is just something that is so easy to wear. Also, I'm really sorry. The sun is like beaming through my window and as the day has gone on, it's like coming in. So I'm really sorry if that's really annoying. Let me just stand in the way of it. That doesn't help. No. It's got that distressed vibe. Let me see if it will focus. It's not oversized. It's not fitted. It's just a basic jacket but in a nice colour. And I do like the detailing of it being distressed, because aren't we all just so distressed? <laughs> this would look so cute over little summer dresses and all of that kind of vibe. And because it's a nice light colour, it looks very summery and very perfect for spring and summer. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, as always. It's pretty cute, right? I'm in a muddle. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Magic. Okay, so we have another sweatshirt. Let me just take this off. This is a gorgeous mint turquoisey green colour. This reminds me of a kind of Gucci logo, I don't know why, but yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute. I bought this in the size 10. I kind of wish I'd gone two sizes up so it was super big and slouchy, because it's quite fitted around the arms and I like my sweatshirts to be big. It's not cropped, it's like a full length sweatshirt, which I do like, and I love this colour. How much was it? Oh, five pounds, so affordable. And this would look really cute now with jeans, or it would look really cute with like a little summer floaty dress, with a maxi skirt, with a midi skirt, with a denim skirt, literally anything. This is, just, I really, really like this. This is probably one of my favorite things, but let me know. I don't want to take these shorts off. I absolutely love them. They're so comfortable. I'm just really quickly going to turn the camera positioning around to try and avoid some of this bright sunshine. So bear with me. I'm just going to move this down. This is so not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> having a complete rejig. Okay, let me just take the labels off. Whoa. So, I am the world's biggest Friends fan in the entire world ever. When I went to LA last summer with my sister, we went to the Warner Brothers studios and we sat on the Friends sofa and I cried. Real tears. I felt so at one with the sofa. I love it, it's like my comfort blanket. If I feel remotely stressed, I watch Friends and it just instantly calms me down. I saw this Central Perk t-shirt and I was like, I need that in my life. Give it to me. Four pounds, should have bought a hundred. Don't know why I say that, I don't need a hundred, but I should have bought one for every single person I know so that we can all wear them together as a good family of friends. I thought this would look really, really cute just as like a chilling outfit, like literally like this. I will wear this outfit all the time. Actually now that I put it on, I think this would look really cute tucked into my mum jeans. This is a size 20, I'm normally a size 10, so I've doubled in size to buy this t-shirt to make it look comfortable and lounge wary. But I would wear this kind of comfy, baggy style out and about with a leather jacket. You know the vibe, you know my style. I say that all the time. Mum jeans, leather jacket, jeans, denim skirt, blah, blah, blah. I take it back about the jumper. This is my favorite piece ever in life. Right, so this is the night shirt I bought. I thought this was so cute. Normally this isn't the kind of thing that I would wear, but baby blue at the moment is one of my like obsessions. And I thought this was so, so cute, especially for spring and summer when you don't want to be in like big pajama bottoms and stuff. I just thought this was really, really nice. On the pocket it says dreaming. So yeah, let's try it on. I mean, I don't care if it's flattering. It's so soft and I'm gonna keep it regardless. It reminds me of like that style of wearing like the guy's shirt in the morning. I've never done that personally. Mainly because my boyfriend would kill me if I went and used one of his shirts. He'd be like, oh, you have to iron it. How rude. 
So yeah, I bought my own. <laughs> so let's try this on. Oh my lord, it's comfy. The material is so comfy. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this over the spring, but you don't really care what pajamas I wear, really, do you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put my normal clothes back on and we'll talk through some of the accessories. So I'm back in normal clothes and I just wanted to show you this. I'm not gonna try it on for you, don't worry. It's got little ice creams all over it and isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? I think this is so, so cute. So if you want one of these, go in and snap them up because they'll fly off the hanger. It's baby blue, my current favorite color. I never used to wear one piece swimwear at all. I was always like, I need maximum tanning area. I will literally just wear bikinis. I need my stomach to be brown. But actually I've started to wear swimming costumes on holiday and I think it's really nice, especially if you're in the sea or if you're in the swimming pool or something and you don't want to constantly worry about losing your bikini top. This is very reliable. This will not leave you naked in the sea alone. So I really like this one. Let's move on to bags. You will have noticed <laughs> that I have bought my red bag, which is now not in shot anymore. I have bought its twin in black. I love this. I literally use this so often. I really, really like it. So I just thought, why not use it in black as well? I have a shopping addiction. I don't need it in black. But I saw it and I was like, oh, so cute. I need it in this color as well. So I can wear it with lots of different colors rather than just red you know so i think this is such good value it's a copy of the chloe Fay bags which i will pop here i'll get a lot of use out of this they're quite well made they're eight pounds so dreamy it's a great little holiday rucksack as well you can unzip it to make it a bit bigger and also unpop it it's got a little pocket inside so yeah i really really like these bags and i'm really glad i picked up in black as well now this oops oh well <laughs> this bag i love no i'll pick it up i don't want it to feel bad Right, so this is one of the first things I put in my basket and I love this. So it's a big beach bag and it says having a good time. Get it? Having a good time. I really, really, really love this. This is huge. This is like the perfect beach bag. You can get your towel in it. You can get everything in it. There's no like secure pocket in there. Oh, no. But this is just really good if you're going for like a big picnic or something. And I just love how big it is and how light it is and how cool it is i love the print i actually would like this print as a poster on my wall maybe i'll just cut the bag up and post it on my wall it's only three pounds so yeah i really really like this it's white so it's going to get really grubby but that's fine by me i really really like it even when i'm just going home to my parents house for the weekend like this is so much easier than packing like a little suitcase and i can fit so much in it perfect full marks Right, now we're moving on to shoes. I went a bit over the top with shoes. I bought four pairs. First up is this pair of boots. I think these look like the Chloe boots, which I will pop here. So I think these are really good dupes of those. These are a gorgeous color. They also had them in a more of a tan color, but I went with this slightly muddy brown. I love the buckle detail. I love the heel. I'm really, really impressed with these. These were 16 pounds, but they actually feel like quite well made. Just knocking on the sole, being like, are you well made? I thought these would look really cute with summer dresses, maxi dresses anything like jeans skirt everything and then they've got a zip here really pleased with these next up we have a pair of fake vans basically these were only six pounds and i don't own a pair of vans at the moment my sister does so i borrow hers sometimes but i thought these were a really really good way of getting that limpsole style shoe without spending a lot of money i really like the pink color obviously because they are pink and i'm obsessed they're just quite cool i thought and they're only six pounds so i'm really really pleased with these still on a trainer hype i also bought these these are six pounds as well they are very similar they are white with the pink sole they're the same style with the you can't really see it here these will get grubby because they're white but i just love this pale pink detail on the bottom and i just think that during summer these will go with so much they're so easy to wear they're so affordable so i'm really really impressed with these right so for the last pair of shoes i bought myself these i'm just going to move this out of the way me. I just bought myself these sandals with the gingham bow detail fabric. These are so cute. These would just go with so many cute outfits and make them just look a little bit more pretty. These ones were six pounds again. They've got the espadrilliness, espadrilliness stuff on the side. And then they've got a nice rubber sole. I think this will last quite a long time and these are really sweet. I just absolutely love that bow detail. Look at it. And gingham is always one of my favorite prints. So really pleased with these. These were just like a little purchase that I didn't need, but they're just little fluffy socks. They're just little fluffy socks. Look how cute they are. My feet always get really cold in the flat. We don't have any carpet in our flat, so I'm constantly like whinging that I've got cold toes. I do have a very trusty pair of slippers, but sometimes you just want to wear a sock so you can sit curled up on the sofa, you know? So I got these. I think these are so cute. They were like two pounds. They came in lots of different colors, but I went for this kind of marl gray. And at the moment they look like puppets, but I'm so excited to put these on later and snuggle up. 
that Primark softness, you can't, oh, and there's lipper socks. Good for safety, good for safety. Also, these don't count because I didn't buy them in the haul. These were in my What's New on the High Street video, but I just wanted to show you these in case you missed that video. These are espadrilles. These are like a perfect dupe of the Chanel espadrille, the black toe and the cream. These were only six pounds. These are going to fly off the shelves. These are perfect for summer. I literally can't live without espadrilles in summer. I wear them with literally everything. So run, run to Primark and get these because these will fly off the shelves. I'm tempted to go and buy a second pair just so in case anything happens to these, then I know I have a backup because these are amazing. Two more things. I got a pair of sunglasses. These are pink because I'm obsessed. These are only two pounds. What do you think? Do they suit me or not really? Um, obviously ignore the lens cleaner here. <laughs> I love this style, it's a copy of the Ray-Ban style obviously. So they say they're UV protected but I always say when buying cheap sunglasses don't trust it. Always if you're going somewhere and you want to protect your eyes they are the most valuable thing you own so buy a proper pair of like UV lenses just please look after your eyeballs. <laughs> but these are really good just for literally an accessory like so. Oh also a few more things I did buy, I bought these hangers I actually own probably a hundred of these hangers. I always buy the same ones from Primark. These ones have got the rose gold and then they've got the velvet so they don't slip and they just, they're my favorite hangers ever. I remember when we first moved into the flat my boyfriend was like, why have you bought so many? You're never gonna use that many hangers. And I've gone back twice and bought more hangers and he obviously didn't know me at all or what he was getting himself into because I have so many clothes. I need all the hangers I can get. And then this, I've never tried this before, but this is a brush cleaner. So it's got like little hearts and stuff on it so that you can like rub your brushes in and get all the dirt and makeup out of your brushes. So I'm gonna clean my brushes tonight and I'm super excited about that. So yeah, this is only two pounds. I'm excited to see what it's like. It's got like a little, let me try and get it out. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? So yeah, I think what you're meant to do is you'll put, put it on your hand and then you can like wash your brushes and yeah, I'm really excited to try this actually. You can see it. Oh, the sun is creeping in guys. We've got no time left. So yeah, I'm really, really sorry if this end of this video feels very rushed. I'm just like conscious that the lighting's gonna be all weird and I'm really sorry about that. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you enjoyed all the summery pieces that we've got here. Let me know in the comments what your favorite pieces were, which bits you're like, babe, no, honestly, seriously, what are you thinking? I love hearing your feedback. I just wanted to say a massive thank you. If you've got this far in the video, I can't explain to you how much it means to me. If you've watched all my videos or if you've watched a few of my videos, if you're subscribed, if you like and you comment, the fact that you're giving up your time to support me and watch my stuff makes me so happy. Thank you, honestly, thank you so, so much. I'm loving doing YouTube. I really, really hope that you guys are enjoying watching my YouTube videos. There will be a new What's New on the High Street video up on Tuesday, so make sure you check that out. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I will link my Instagram and stuff below if you want to find me on there. You guys are the best, literally the best. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this Primark haul. I really hope you like the pieces I chose. I really hope you're excited for spring, summer fashion. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.